Hello and welcome to my channel Econ Academy. In this tutorial I will show you how to detect autocorrelation and how to remove it. Basically there are two methods of detecting autocorrelation. If the autocorrelation is of first order then we will detect it through a uh, Durban-Watson test and if the autocorrelation is of any higher order then we will detect it through uh, a serial correlation LM test. So I will show you both step by step and in addition to that I will also show you how to remove autocorrelation. So do like the video and subscribe to my channel. First of all we will select the dependent variable and then all our independent variables and we will right click on it and go to open, open as equation. Here we will, uh, the method we will select ls least square and we will click on OK. So estimated result shows the uh, result, the estimated table shows the result of OLS. Here we, you can see that uh, the, the Durbin Watson stats. Here the criteria for Durbin Watson stats is if there is, uh, if the Durbin Watson stats is between 1.7 to 2.3, then there will be no autocorrelation in the model. Uh, and if it is below 1.7 or above 2.3 then there will be autocorrelation in the model. So uh, in this case there is uh, the Darwin Watson stat is 1.003 which means that it is below 1.7 uh, so there is autocorrelation in the model which is not desirable. This is uh, the first order autocorrelation. Now I will show you the second method uh, which show, which is uh, a serial correlation LM test which shows the uh, higher order autocorrelation. If there is higher order autocorrelation then Durban Watson stat cannot detect it. So for this reason we will go to view and to residual diagnostics and then to serial correlation LM test. Here we want uh, here the lag we, we will include the number of lag which we want to check whether the if if we want if we write two then we will check that if the second order autocorrelation if there is uh, any second order autocorrelation or not if we write three then we will uh, check that if the third order autocorrelation if there is a third order autocorrelation or not so I will uh, I want to check whether there is second order autocorrelation or not so I will I have write uh, I have written two and then I will click on OK. Here uh, we will mainly focus on the probability of chi-square. The key here is the null hypothesis is here that there is no autocorrelation in the model and the alternative hypothesis is that it, there is autocorrelation in the model. If the probability of chi-square is below 0 0.05 or below 5% then we will reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis that there is autocorrelation in the model. And if the probability of chi-square is above 0 0.05 or uh, above 5% then we will say that uh, we will accept null hypothesis that there is no autocorrelation in the model. So the desirable uh, is the range of the desirable is uh, the desirable probability of chi-square is above 0 0.05 or above 5%. So in this case you can see that uh, the probability of chi-square is uh, 0 0.01125 which is below 0 0.05 or below 5%. Uh, so we will reject null hypothesis that there is no autocorrelation in the model and accept uh, alternative hypothesis that there is autocorrelation in the model. So in this case there is autocorrelation in the model. So we have learnt how to detect autocorrelation using two methods. The first is Darwin Watson stats and the second is uh, Bursch Godfrey serial correlation LM test. Now I will show you how to remove autocorrelation. First of all uh, First of all, the uh, key here is uh, 
we will include the first uh, we will include one period lag of the dependent of the dependent uh, we will include f uh, one period lag of the dependent variable uh, as independent variable now i will show you how to inc uh, make a period one period lag of dependent variable we will first go to quick and then to generate series here we will write uh, L of uh, growth here we will write L growth you can write any name is equal to growth uh, bracket open minus uh, 1 and bracket close this is the command for uh, making one period lag of a uh, variable so this we, we can write any name here and then we will uh, press equal to and write the name of that variable for which we want to uh, make one period lag and then we will bracket open and minus and number of lag and bracket close and we will click on ok so you can see that here the L growth model has created which is uh, the one period lag of growth you can also check it from uh, opening both this and the growth uh, real growth actual growth model uh, variable as, as a group so you can see that this is just one period lag of uh, this variable so now we will include that one period lag uh, in a growth model uh, here we will select the growth the dependent variable and then all our independent variables previous independent variable and we will also select the new uh, one period lag of growth as independent variable we will click on uh, right click and uh, open and open as equation now you can see that this is the dependent variable and these are the independent variable so independent variable included uh, one more variable which is the uh, one period lag of growth now we will click on ok so you can see that this is the one period lag of uh, growth model which is in the independent variables now you can see that the Durbin Watson stats is 2.06 which is the in the range of 1.7 to 2.3 so now uh, the auto correlation has been removed you can also check uh, from the serial correlation LM test you can uh, we will go to view and then to residual diagnostics and then to serial correlation LM test uh, as previous we also uh, will here we write two uh, lags and click on OK now you can see that uh, our main focus was the probability of chi-square and uh, we have said that if the probability of chi-square is below 0.05 uh, or five percent then there will be autocorrelation and if it is above 0 0.05 or five percent then there will be uh, no autocorrelation in the model so you can see that now it is uh, 0 0.54 which is uh, greater than 0 0.05 uh, and it, it is it can also be called as 54 percent which is greater than 5 percent so now the uh, null hypothesis now we will accept null hypothesis that there is no autocorrelation in the model so we have removed autocorrelation from that model 
so this is from today tutorial you can watch my other videos uh, on my channel uh, so do like the video and subscribe to my channel bye for now